What's up, people? Yep, good to go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our the fourth installment of our Yep, Good to Go live stream where we make sports fun. We talk about the latest happening in sports and uh, some of the stuff that I know you're interested in. I know stuff that I'm interested in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Peter Lloyd. Uh, thank you for supporting Peter Lloyd World YouTube channel, uh, where we discuss many things, particularly sports, track and field. Now, we have a great show lined up for you. Uh, once again, we have the remarkable um, Paul Reed of the Jamaica Observer, who is going to join us. And we will be taking your questions, as we normally do. And... Um, Personally, I'm just very, very excited. Now, we do these live streams, 8 p.m. Jamaica time. Let me underline that. Uh, one of our good friends, uh, one of our uh, was saying it's, it's 8 p.m., Peter, but it was actually 7 p.m., so I'm not quite sure where in the world you are, my brother. But when we say 8 p.m. Jamaica time, I don't mean Jamaica time like we're late, but the actual 8 p.m. Jamaica time. So it's 8 p.m. Jamaica time. Every other Thursday, we do this twice per month. We'll be adding a third live stream um that we will be talking to you about that you're going to absolutely love and once in a while we do bring in top tier persons of the entertainment i keep saying entertainment people are my entertainer too um all out of track and field uh coaches athletes etc you know that we did our interview with um the remarkable remarkable young lady i think one of the best hurdles we will ever produce uh, and I think she's going to medal this year, Akiva Nugent. And we have other stuff lined up, you know, but we are super excited to have you here. Thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. And you know the support, we need the support. First up, though, let's get a little business done. Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go. And bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening. Get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so there you have it. Um, we are putting together our Peter Lloyd World Shopify. Um, you're gonna love these selections. Uh, a lot of people have been reaching out about these. The t-shirts are going to be a whole lot of stuff. So you're going to really enjoy it. We want to make sure that when we bring the product out, it's going to be awesome. So um, first up, let's talk for a few seconds. All right. So track and field, as you know, is not yet in the top 10 in the world in terms of popularity. And I, I do think that th there are athletes. Um, the, the great Usain Bolt gave track and field a massive boost uh, when he became uh, Olympic champion, world champion, and still world record holder. Uh, made a huge difference. So I'm going to throw out a question. I'm going to start doing something uh, tonight that we don't normally do. I'm going to throw out a question to you. Now, there are some, I don't want to say characters because they're brilliant athletes who they Jamaicans would think that they can be over the top people like Noah Lyles, Shakari Richardson. So I'm going to ask you a question and you can um, answer towards the end of, um, you know, the stream. I want to ask, do you think, um, do you think that track and field needs characters like uh, a, a Shakari Richardson who was brought in apparently a lot of young people and Noah Lyles who's bringing in a, a lot of young people. I know that, I don't want to say many of you, but some of you are not tickled pink by the antics. The other day I saw him wearing some really nice colored um, nails and stuff. Um, you know, uh, but I mean, this is to, so I want to know throughout the stream, do you think that Jamaica should have um, personalities like this, characters who are larger than life. Um, do you think that uh, a Noah Lies and uh, a Shakari were just bigger than life? You know, Shakari Richardson running through the tape and going, you know, I mean, that kind of stuff. Do you think <laughs> track and field needs these people? Do you think, um, or does it 
just turn you off. I, just a just a curiosity. So uh, beef, we're going to get into it right now. That be, that's my little, you know, because I've been wondering. The truth is, initially, people. All right, I'm going to I'm going to tell you a little secret. I didn't really like Noah Lyles initially, but then when he started to ju- to, to date a Jamaican, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's all right, not Lyles cool. I, <laughs> maybe that's a little prejudice of me, but. So I want to know your thoughts. Do you think track and field needs these larger than life characters? And should some of our athletes, younger athletes, start behaving like that? Just asking. All right. So uh, it's my pleasure to um, bring uh, on the stream a bona fide brethren, someone who I have the greatest respect for, um, a tremendous journalist, I think, a man who knows his stuff, um, you know, they're, 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 Jamaica is blessed. We have some great journalists, and I do believe that this young man um, is one of the best in the industry, uh, certainly uh, to me on a personal level. Uh, we're going to be talking about track and field champs in particular because he was there on the ground um, reporting, etc., for the Jamaica Observer, and we are lucky to have him here, and a lot of you seem to enjoy Paul being here. So without further ado, let's bring on the boss, the great... Paul Reed, sports journalist of the Jamaica Observer. Paul, what's going on, my brother? It's been a, a while since I've been called young, but um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Peter. <laughs> take it, man. Take it, man. It's been a while. If, if, if you are not young, then what am I? So I, I am young. I don't always feel young, but that's all right. <laughs> so, Paul, how was um you were there on the ground at, at the, the Issa Boys and Girls Champs, right? Mm-hmm. But you know what? Before we get into that, because I think that's going to be very spicy. There's stuff. I think it's one of the best champs we've ever had. Yeah. We did not have a Boajan Krume. We did not have an Alana Reed. But I was sending to someone, you don't see that very often. You you don't often have high school girls running sub eleven, and you certainly don't oft, ha, often have high school young men running sub ten. Yeah. Those those are in a, in nice ways freaks of nature. nature. So we right. shouldn't have all expected it, you know, because yeah. um, uh, I postulated briefly you know do we you know are we going to see anything like that and you said no <laughs> but but i still said okay maybe it's a possibility but before that let's first jump into a few things before we get into chance all in all in the game says uh track and field needs co- contrasting characters personalities no one should be forcing themselves to have an uh yeah true extroverted personality if it's not organic to them otherwise it feels really forced and faked that's that's a very solid point. Absolutely. Very, very yeah, solid he, point. I mean that that is exactly the point I was going to make as well. That all sports need need the people to come out of just don't win and go home and shake hands and go. You, you need to to attract people who are not fans of the sport to come and want to watch the sport as well. So you're gonna need these people to do what they do. If it's a force, it will not come, it won't come across very well. So you, it has to be natural. Bolt is a natural entertainer. He he entertain wherever he goes. Lyles, as you said, as I said before, never really liked him, but he has proved himself to be the person that brings attracts people to the sport. As for Miss Richardson, well, um, still. <laughs> That's a work in progress. That's a work in progress. It's a work in progress for you. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind her. No, I. I kind of get her. I kind of understand. I, I'm. I'm been doing a little, you know, background reading on her, and I kind of understand. Okay, what created a, a, a Shakira yeah. Richardson? I kind of get it. You know, broke. I get it. I get it. I don't want to go into that, but I do think that we desperately need um, characters like that. Oh, we need people like that. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and and, and I don't think Jamaicans like a bolt is a, a bolt was a very unusual Jamaican athlete in the sense that our athletes, we, 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 we draw glory by winning. Like we just win. That's it. Yeah. We win. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, we, we don't need to do that antics. We just win. Okay. But speaking, speaking of, um, this particular young man, uh, Bessie, can you put up that thing with you saying and, um, uh, and the Noah Lyles that we talked about. So Noah Lyles keeps saying people, that um he's having he keeps having a dream he's been talking about this dream now for about a year of him running 19.10 okay 19.10 and you know what ambition is a great thing i mean nothing is wrong with that 
But I'm going to throw this out to everyone. For Noah Elias to run 19.80, his 100 meter has to be something close. I mean, his flat 100, at least a 9.6, 9.62. And he is miles away from that. He's so far away from that, it's almost comical. Right? So um, we have the great sports journalists here. I know you don't like getting into the controversy, but the, the, but tr- realistically, at this point, maybe in, I, because he is improving his times. I, I'm not saying no, but he is nowhere close. I mean, not even. I mean, people don't understand. You see, you see, boat running a nine point five eight is no walk in the park. Yeah, nobody, no man, no, no, no man, and. He, he only as good as Bolt was, Bolt only went on a 9-6 once. Mm-hmm. Once, and that was 2009. He ran until 2016. Seriously, that's another one. Seven, seven more, yep. you know, and, and he never went back on a 9.6. So it tells you how, how difficult it is for you to run 9.5 and, and for you to, to run. 19.19 it is it's gonna take some tremendous stepping to get to, to to that but but how old was bolt when he ran that sir that 2008 bolt would have been maybe um i could i could make a quick check with that um to, uh, 2008 um he might he, he was pretty young at that time so but still i mean it, it's still a very, very fast time for anybody to run at, at any age at all. I mean, because for me, what I'm thinking, I mean, you know, I think sometimes when you say these times to people, you know, like I saw this, it saw this thing right. about saying he was born, oh, right. he, he was born, he was born 1986. Right. So in 2008, we would, would, would have been in a two. Okay, how yeah. old is Noah Lyles? Noah Lyles, um, let me check. He's probably a little older. Noah Lyles was born in 1997. So now he would be how old now? A little older than, than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all, in the, all in the game, again, dropped some really good. Oh, by the way, before, before I do that, let me big you up. All in the game, thank you for being here. Uh, Queen Pearl, right? Big up yourself um i'll just keep healing you up as you all come on up look people um okay all again says Noah, right Noah, ran 90.52 in the 23rd world championship 200 meter final after three rounds of the 100 meters and two rounds of the 200 meters which was slower than his 19.47 seasons best from a, f- a few weeks prior london uh deal and slower than his 19.31 all in the game, I, I, no matter how we slice it, for anybody to run that time, your your flat 100, because I've gone back and looked at that 200 meters several times that boat ran that insane 19.19. And let me tell you something, and this is no exaggeration. Go back and look. Within the first meter of coming out of the blocks, boat was ahead of the entire field. He was literally ahead of everyone. By the time he entered that the, the curve, he was five meters ahead of everyone. Uh, you have to have an insane, it, to, in my opinion, had he been healthy, the only person that could have challenged that would have been a young man that we we do not give his 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 laurels and his his, his praises to, right? Called Johan Blake. I think Johan Blake would have been the closest person on earth to break that record. That's an insane time. Top of things, big up yourself. Yeah, I agree, Tapa Things. He said it's a good Tapa Things says it's a good dream. And, I, and look, I, I have no problems. Um, and I'm not knocking. Like I said, I actually like Noah Lyles now. But people, 19 point, I mean, I don't think people understand. He's not even saying 19.17. He's saying 19.10. So he would have to be running. He would have had to have broken the 100 meter world record to run that time. So well, that, well, at the stands now, Peter, he's the third fastest ever with, with you know, he's the third fastest than Bolt and Blake. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, whether or not he can even catch Blake at 19.26 is another matter. 
it, it's a crazy thing. I mean, listen, I love the because I think one of the reasons why he does these things is it brings eyeballs. Yes. People are going to say, oh, yeah. wow, he's, he's, he's yeah. going to do this. But I don't know, people. I mean, look, look, look at how close Sharika Jackson came to breaking that. She technically, she broke Two that 200 meter world record. Technically. Two years. Two years. She, she just yeah. needed a, like a, a plus, like a plus, plus one win behind her. It would have been broken. And people don't understand. That is that is no serious. That's a serious. People, listen, Jamaicans, let me tell you something. Usain Bolt and Johan Blake, are at a, they come from Mars. They come from a different place. <laughs> They're not human beings. And people don't understand. It's because we see them every day and we hear them, yo, you and yo, you see They're not normal people. Running running 9.58, running 19 point. I mean, those times, even Johan, even Johan Blake's time, had had Johan Blake been born and there was no Usain Bolt, he would have been the world record holder. These they, these are exceptional, which is one of the reasons why I said to you sometimes, I said, guys, you cannot keep comparing these young upcoming sprinters to these people. They're not human beings. They're 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 ab, they're they're abnormalities. They're not normal. Anyway, uh, so I think for me. I would love to see him try to break the world record, but I'm going to keep saying it. For him to run 19.10, meaning Noah Lyles, and to fulfill his dream, the fact of the matter is Noah Lyles would have to break the 100 meter world record of 9.58. There's no other way for him to do it. I, I, but it's not impossible. He's a young man. Let's see. All right. So, um, Bestie, the young man by the name of Jaden Hibbert, one of the most gifted. Um, triple jumpers on the planet has started. Jaden is what nineteen, I think. I think he's nineteen. I 19, just yeah. nineteen. 19 yeah. Yeah. Um, and by the way, Jaden Hibbert, Fortis, Kingston College. Okay, just just letting you know. Uh, as is Wayne Pinnock, by the way. Just letting you. And as is um, uh, Carrie, right? Uh, right. So, just want you to know the greatness of Kingston. Oh, by the way, you know we just won champs. Just a thing. Just a thing. Just a, no, don't come off the stream. <laughs> you can't take the heat. Like I said, I am I am very prejudiced when it comes to to to, to, to Kingston College. Yeah, but um, Jaden Hibbert. Let me see if I can find this. Bestie, can you put up that banner for me? Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Bestie. Uh, Jaden Hibbert uh, forms his leaps and bounds foundation by donating uh, seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars, which I think is a really really good look. Um, you know, the, the truth is, until very recently, you can tell me, sir, if I'm wrong, Jamaicans were not paying a lot of attention to the jumps. I think Tajik Gale might have been the first person in this generation, 2019, when he won that world championship. Am I correct, sir? 2019. But we've had outstanding jumpers before, not as many as we have now. Um, Mace in the high jump, we had, we had him and then James... Beckford in yes. the long jump. James Beckford was a tremendous, you know, he was he he was just an awesome, awesome natural jumper. And then we had those were basically the early stars. Yeah. You know, yeah. We had yeah. um Smith who who won the world championship in um in Helsinki, I think. Female, that mm -hmm. is, she still holds the national record no. But those came, those are once in a lifetime. No, what we are seeing is just a breakout of jumpers. I just said, um, Wayne Pinnock, um, McLeod, Luke Brown at um, Kentucky. Yes, um, yeah. Just, just a whole bunch of jumpers. High well. jumpers, long jumpers. jumpers yes. And triple jumpers, we're doing extremely well. We are two males in the top five in the NCAA indoors recently. We are two, yep. two, two, two on the other side as well. So, yes, I mean, we're getting them. Out. And then we saw some good jumpers at champs. We will get to champs as well. But, yep. you know, mm -hmm. there are more great talents to come. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, but but these kind of natural people, um, they don't, okay, let me pick up Never Walker, pick up yourself, Word and Worship Records. The ambassador says, "Amen, bless up yourself." Tapa things, Tapa things says, um, "Heal." Uh, wonderful to have you, great persons, kings and queens. 
Paul, we reference reference everyone who comes here to the stream. They are royals and they're kings and queens, as you are. You are so absolutely, you know, absolutely. You know this. So um, the, the 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 truth is, I think it's natural for us to produce great hurdlers and great jumpers for one reason, because Jamaica is, it's so hard to make a Jamaican hundred meter team. <laughs> that the, the the runners end up because I don't know if, I don't know if many of you know this that. Um, Akira Nugent, who is one of our top five um, hurdlers in the, right now and in top ten in the world, uh, Akira Nugent has, I think, she, I think she did she win the flat one hundred in under in the world under twenty at one point. No, she has no, it's a hurdles. Hurdles. Hurdle. No, no, she won the hurdles, but yeah. she has, or is it that she has a, she might have the under seventeen record. I think I'm gonna have hurdles to double check. Hurdles again. Right. Hurdles, but, yeah, but there's something I I, I she has speed though. She has she has speed. She actually ran on the relay teams at at mm. the DLR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Word, word and worship records. These ambassadors says we have some good runners in the USA too. There is no question about that. And, and in fact, I'm going to be honest with you. We as Jamaicans love that this rivalry, which is generally friendly until we are on the the field. Um, Word and worship. We absolutely love that fact. We love the fact that um uh and and I'm gonna say it, Paul has pointed it out on several occasions that some of our great runners were trained by US um uh at US institutions. Yes. So there is there is no there is no animosity until we are on the, the track <laughs> and we're getting ready um to run. Like I said, I'm a fan now of Noah Lyles, but if it's a race between a Jamaican and Noah Lyles, I'm back in the, <laughs> the Jamaican world and worship, and I'm sure you're going to be. But but um, no, I would not take anything away um, from from them. So uh, big up to Jane Hibbert. I just wanted to highlight that this young 19 year old has started uh, a jumping foundation, which is an incredible thing for such a young man to do. It's called Leaps and Bounds Foundation, and he donated out of pocket seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I guess the NILs are. The NILs are doing very well. He's pro now. He's pro. He went pro. Oh yes, he's pro. I forgot. Yes, give me. I Sandy forgot. Puma. He went pro. He, yeah. he was, yeah. and he was at champs. He was at champs from I think who saw from mm -hmm. Thursday. He was in the stands, walking around, talking to people. Yeah. But he, yeah. he was here. He was here. His article is is a forties. What do you expect, sir? <laughs> what do you expect? All right. So the other thing I want to run on quickly too, because we, you know, we, we we try to work within a time frame here. All right, so this is, I don't know if Paul is going to be comfortable talking about this, but recently a lot of uh, vloggers uh, came out saying that Elaine thompson Hera was so injured, she couldn't even walk. Like she, she couldn't train, she couldn't do anything. And I immediately put out something and I said, look, because people, when I just started, I'm, a, I'm an artist, right? I'm a recording artist, I'm an actor, singer, that's what I do. And I, but I love track and field, right? Um, oh. Word and Worship Records says, yeah, laugh out loud. I'm from the U.S. and my wife is from Jamaica. So yeah, you're Jamaican now then, man. You're Jamaican then, sir. <laughs> so anyway, um, when I just started doing the Track and Field channel years ago, I thought what what was a, a, a credible source. I got some information and I put it out and it turned out to be complete bonkers and nonsense. And it embarrassed me. Which is which is the first time I remember I reached out to Paul and I said, Paul, <laughs> I'm begging my boss. <laughs> Up here, foolishness, but that's right. <laughs> Peter, in, yes, in, sir. in journalism, and I've done my time, I've done my penance in the journalism. One of the things we, we ask, the first thing when we hear something that, that is amazing is what's the source? That's yes. the first thing. And, you know, the source is important. Um, and if if the source cannot be trusted, then you double check. You check three times and four times. So so as you say, you, you can't afford to go out there with foolishness. And yeah. one of the things that when we first heard about that injury is, I mean, we call people, have you heard anything? nobody and who and people have talked about people that has close ties to the camp or whatever and nobody heard anything at all we saw her on the track on saturday running around walking around it's yeah. a different thing from sprinting it's a different thing from sprinting 
and 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 sometimes people will tell you that no sprinter is ever a hundred percent healthy we we get that and most of the interests are treatable you know whatever but um unless something else happens right now the interesting thing is bogus yeah yeah i i concur um you know, my, my thing is, I mean, you know, I, I I do not want to believe that it was malicious. I just think maybe it's just a misunderstanding or a misrepresentation or, you know. And also, Peter, in your world of being a blogger and everything and, 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 and everything, you want to establish yourself out there with, um, so you can be known as having the best news, the early news and blah, blah, blah. So mm. it's a competitive thing. So people at times will push the envelope. Yep, I know, I know. I, you mean by creating, by creating envelope? Yeah, that as well, that as well. Yeah, yeah. that's true. And that's true. People, people of offenses and all them things, you know. Yeah, but for me, I mean, my thing too is that I mean, you know, I I don't want to speak things into being regarding any art, any athletes. But apologies, mm -hmm. and because of that fact, uh, I, I I there are people like yourself that I call, I double check, I triple check. There are other people that I'll call. You know what's yeah. happening here? Why did this happen? Etc. I remember. Um, uh, oh, oh, there's someone else I wanted to talk to quick before we get into champs. Um, I remember there was an injury issue with a particular athlete, and I reached out to her camp, and they, and they said, "Yeah, but there, but this is what happened, you know." And they said to me, "Please don't talk about it." I didn't talk about it, and the truth is, a lot of the young athletes also reach out to me, and we talk. And if you know, Uncle Peter, can can I talk about this? Yes. Can I talk about this? No, I leave it alone, because I think um, I think we have to understand that athletes are people. They're people, and you don't want to impact them in a particular way. That's just my opinion on a personal level. Um, you know, they're human beings, especially the, the the young ones. So, people, as far as I realize, um, Elaine Thompson is not injured, any, not more any more injured than she's always injured. <laughs> I mean, she's always and injured. Seen, and and. and in the interim, since last week, champs, we've I've seen about three interviews with her, with her coach, and there's no hint at all of of, of any injuries. You know, we haven't seen anything, and then she has not been afraid to speak about her injuries in the past. No, she's she always hasn't. been upfront, and she always spoken about the injuries, and yeah. we haven't heard anything. And again, you go back to source. What what is the source? Who's the source? This time last year, we heard about a major drug bust coming down. You know, yep. my test positive, and we're gonna you can you know shit for a foundation of our of the track and field in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We're still waiting on, on that news. Yep, you know, yep. That's like I'm still waiting on Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Um, okay. Uh I did not uh put this one together. But I just wanted to talk about it very quickly before we get into champs because we're going to really do an in-depth thing on champs today. Um, Brianna Williams has decided that she's leaving Michael Freitas' camp um, and she is moving on to greener pastures. Um, she, you know, she was very gracious. She thanked um, Michael Freitas, etc. Uh, I have a few thoughts on this, um, sir. Any any thoughts on her moving from Michael Freitas to? Uh, I think it's LA. She's going to be going to a, to a, to a camp in LA. Yeah, we've heard about HSI, and I mean, I heard about this the same weekend of the NCAA um, um, indoors. I made I made checks, and I was told that it was not true. Then we heard a week later that she's in fact moving to LA. Um, I I I I don't know. Maybe. And we heard that she was injured last year. So mm. we're not sure if she's going to, and, and we still have not heard exactly where she's going here because HSI is really her agency. Right. But I can't, based on what we're hearing as well. Um, we don't know, I guess we'll hear soon. The season starts soon. So I guess we'll wait until we hear more, but we just have to wish her the best. Peter, as we've said on this, um, podcast some very good female sprinters are going to watch the olympics from their coaches no um, doubt about it yes yeah, so um she's yet to make a national senior team in an individual 
mm -hmm. basis is three relays a goal and two a, a, a goal and, and, and others so she ne she needs to to be able to challenge the top three the top four she needs to she, she needs to, to, to know be pressing a shelley a, 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 a jackson um elaine sasha um, lee sasha lee yeah. nelson Reed, who's going to come on strong, she needs to be pressuring these people for a place, not not just on a relay team. It has to be in a individual area, and we're only allowed three athletes. Yeah. So, so um, I think her her team has sat down and decided that this move is the best for her, because really we haven't seen a female athlete come forth from. The, um, Fritz's group yet. She would have been that first yeah, female. Yeah, first female. So so maybe we're thinking that she's gone to a coach that has developed female sprinters at the world class. Um well that coach, that coach, um based on what I I I, I my research says he was at a Bolden, he was at his um uh, Bolden's coach. He Smith. Yeah, right. He consults yeah. with Marie Jossi Talou at this point. Okay. Um, so he's yeah. had some yeah. top tier athletes with him. Oh, no, no, but he's been a, a really good sprint, sprint person for a very, very long time. Uh, right. That's what yeah. I realized. So maybe yeah. she just needed a technician. I, I kind of thought, I was hoping that her transition would have been smoother here, but I kind of think coming from high tech training to running up a hill, hill, hill runs. I think her, to me, um, she, her system probably went into shock. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's hard. And then, and let's be honest, people, Brianna Liston is fire. Kemba, Kemba Nelson, don't take her light. Kemba Nelson is fire. Um, Alana Reed, don't take her light. I mean, we have some Tina Clayton. We might be, we might be, might need to ask, um, I will see if we can end a uh, B team. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that is, yeah, it's true because yeah. the, the talent pool, um, you know, I mean, Alana Reed running 10.92 last year. I, I still don't think many people grasp what this 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 child did, and um, uh, and and I think it was you who mentioned on 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 um on the live stream last week that Brianna, you had heard that the problem that Brianna Lister was having was that her body she was running too fast for her body her you body was I think, yeah you have that. I, I really don't understand that concept though <laughs> but um yeah. yes I, yeah. I actually saw both uh, I, I saw both Liston and Reed in the higher camp after champs yeah and when you're standing close to them you understand how small and frail and fragile yeah. the bodies are you know it's not like we see on tv when you stand right next to them you'll feel like you're able to just lift them, them off growing with one hand because they're really small body ladies you know yeah. so i i'm not sure if it is realistic to expect them to be challenging for a, a spot on the team this year i mean I'm but, not but sure. Paul, we, yeah. we have to be honest though i mean this is just an opinion you're the expert yeah. but the, the, the fact is if you are able to run a 703 sir over yeah. 60 mm -hmm. and you're really a better 100 and 200 yeah meters, yeah so so we're looking at somebody who is really dangerous so 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 we're, we're talking about a, a 10 8 or so in, in and uh, I, I think a 10 8 could get you on the squad if you can run a 10 8 you can probably get on the squad. It really is what Kemba Kemba's best is what 10 84, 10 82, or something like that. I remember 10 86, but I might be wrong. I can mix up with Natasha. I can confirm that. Yeah. But yeah. but I mean, it's just like I've I've been talking a lot to people about Sasha Lee, and I'm saying people you don't understand. And 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 and, and, I'm up, and the people here, they're brilliant. We're track and field, and they're saying, Yeah, but you know, Sasha Lee is inconsistent. And I'm saying, people, from she hit that sub 11, she has been as consistent as the days long. She she's there and she's only gonna get faster. Um, that all that running indoors in the 60 meter was just to work on the start. So you know what was going on there. You know MVP say yo at the start where I work pop. 
Campbell Nelson is at 10.88, actually. 10.88, okay. Yeah. Uh, that 2022. 22. That was at the in the in the finals. The trials at the trials. Yeah, yeah. Um, so thank you all in the game. Thank you very much. I met tell man, kings and queens, you are the best. So so I mean I understand the the, the expectations of a, on, on a on a Brian Williams because I'm a huge Brian Williams fan. Everybody here knows this. But I'm also a realist and I have to be I have to concede if you have a if you have a youngster running 10.92, you know, and by the way, she was impressed. There was no Serena. There was nobody in that race to push her. Mm -hmm. um, if you have uh, uh, her, her, her friend, her one of her closest friends, now running 703 in her first indoor championships, we are looking at some scary yeah. talent, like some yeah. terrifying talent. So, I mean, and I said, I've said it. If a Tina, if a Brianna, if a, any, any, everybody has to be running. I think for you to got near the team, you have to be running some something close to a ten point eight zero, or you cannot make the individual team. You can probably make the um, four by four, but the four by one, sorry, but yeah. you have to be running something. I mean, these are crazy times, and it's it's it. This is because Jamaicans are spoiled. And we have a Shelly run 10.60, and we have 10.54 from Elaine, and we have 10.6. We think th these are normal times. They are not normal absolutely, times. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, All in the Game says, training with, let me show it. He says, uh, training with Talu will be great for Brian Williams, but will take at least a year to manifest, given yeah, how late she's moving to John Smith. Yeah, that, that's. I think that's a pretty valid time. Uh, valid. Um, I mean, it's not so late. I mean, the background work will still be having. You know, the strength work will still be having. You know, the techniques, te the technical work probably starts now as well. So maybe that would work. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you don't need a um, a, a great coach to, to to take you through the drills and the background work and the weightlifting and and the hill runs. You know, I mean, this is now when you want a coach to start working with you. Season starts for some people in, a, in a, another month. It's right. not enough. It's not the end of March. So mm -hmm. probably around the end of April when they start to run now and early May, the, um, the, whatever. So you have what? Six to eight weeks to really, really start to put something down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, but I you know, so let's let's get over let's jump over to um the Issa Boys and Girls Grace Kennedy Athletics Championships 2024 that I was personally very very enamored with I was very impressed with a lot of what I saw I'm gonna say it again people I I teased that um the young man from Herbert Morrison could run a sub ten. But I didn't think he could actually run a sub ten. I think I, I, in fact, I actually said I think if he got, he, he could run something close to like a ten point three. Go back and check the video. Um, a sub ten as a high schooler, people, male is is insanity. <laughs> it's it. But, but he ran at ten point zero eight last year in June. I remember the ten point zero eight. He ran at ten point zero eight, and he was shocked at himself that. He had run so fast. So when, when did he run the ten point? In June, June. June. Yeah. At right. one of the um the the, the, all... the it, 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 was it was it dirt or turf? Was it no, dirt? And, or turf? No, at the stadium. At the stadium. Well, yes, yes, I remember that. Yes, I, I, I actually have the stadium it. with right. with the um I think it was Bruce James um system. So the it, lost the fest. Yes. It so it's not a problem. Yeah. That's not an, an issue. Um. Mm -hmm. I thought he would have made. I mean, him not making the final to me was one of the biggest shocks. I was okay. So yes. this is the first thing I'd wanted to get into yes, because that I didn't see that. He can I walk ten, ten five. He, okay, he people. Could. Let me ask you: Did you think that um, Herbert Morrison's top male sprinter? Um, yeah, oh my gosh, his name's so to my head. I want to Daly. Daly. Yeah, DeAndre Daly. Daly, Daly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who came second last year behind Boise in Yeah. Fume. Were you shocked that he did not make the finals? Because to me, it was like when Fred Curley didn't make the finals last year. 
I just did not see that coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was wondering if he was injured. Was he injured? Did you know if he was injured? Sir? No, he, didn't, he was injured. I thought it's an injury, but he come back and run all the all the relay legs. He ran a four by four. He ran some really fast legs. I, I just thought maybe, and I have spoken to him or the coach at all. Yeah. He might have gotten in his own head. The, I was just wondering about was it the he stress? Might have was gotten it? in his own head because he should be able to 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 make that final. He can sleep, walk easily, can easily, easily. Yeah, but I know that so, his coach Claude is a is a good tactician, a good technician, yeah. and mm -hmm. because I thought he was injured, but after he. he come back and run a four by ones both of them and he ran a very very fast one in the heats as well he ran the the mile relay he, he anchored them he, he i don't think he's injured at all you know he so, ran, yeah so he didn't make the finals yeah but there was a young man Batteries. who made Batteries. the finals yeah. and i declare i said i didn't see that coming at all yeah the the, the, the class one 100 meter winner I am sorry, I did not see that coming. Uh, I'd seen him running, and I, I know he's a he's a great talent, but I did not see that happening at all. I and think. he did not go to he did not go to the the um the meeting March to go for this weekend. Yeah, what's his name again? His name just floated my head, guys. Wanna help me out? Um, class one, one hundred meter runner winner this year at it's a boys and girls champs wow i just did a video on him i think he's very very talented young man uh was it excelsior he's from Ex excelsior excelsior um the shocker excelsior excelsior shock everybody yes yeah miller. yeah yeah miller from excelsior yeah yeah oh no no uh, fuck, nolan miller said sashley isn't with mvp thank you you know i know that and i don't no, know why she's I said it. with um thank you Sp sprint tech yeah she's with sprint tech thank sprint you very tech. much that's a this is that's how i love the people that might come here and i'm tell them know them thing uh the morrow uh miller the, yeah miller the yeah miller. It, i listen that young man is real talent I saw I was really imp someone was saying to me, oh, boy, I've never run something. I'm like, are you not are you not understanding? He ran, I think he won in 10.9. 3 9. 3 9. 10 point three one. 10 point three one. 10 point three one. 10 3 1. Yes. Yeah. And great run, convincing. Yeah. He was incredible. Um, really, I was he's one to watch, I think. He was one to watch, you know. So uh uh Damoy Miller thank you very much thank you very much D-A-M-O-R yes yeah really really, really Miller. what you say what the entire Excelsior team did ex extremely well they won yeah. 400 meters they yeah. won a 40 meter both 40 meter hurdles yes. Yes, yes. they were just coming out of the, you know out of everywhere they oh, won what? they won the relays the four by one relays yeah. so I mean, Excelsior was just just open eyes every single year, you know. What, what do you think, um, as 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 the the sports genius genius here? And I know you don't want me to say that, but people like I say, my sports genius. Um, how do you explain that, though? I mean, David, the coach, head coach there knows what he's doing. He has some extremely good assistant coaches around him. So I mean. And he was in charge. He was a part of the team that won champs in 2010 at Walmers. So he's not a flash in the pan. He's not, I mean, he know what he's doing. And once he can get a good squad in one place, they will do very, very well. So I'm not surprised at all that he got in with thrown fast in the 400 or the four hurdles. I just, I'm, I was surprised that he, he got somebody to run fast in a hundred meters. So mm -hmm. it tells me that He's expanding, and in the throw, they have a very good throws coach. Yes, I, I noticed that. Yeah, a fortis man, a fortis man. You know, um, yes, throws coach there as well, and they I have um, yeah, they, mm -hmm. they have um, what's his name again? Is I think he coaches the hurdles, mm -hmm. Russell. So they yes. have some really good coach, a coaching staff there. At at um, chances are maybe they have a much smaller squad than say a calabar or a case or a jc they don't have all that you know amount of people to really make a push to 
for a top three of champs. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, David is a good coach. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, well, what I did enjoy is that um, the the dominant schools, even Fortis, it, it, you you couldn't tell who was going to win in a race. I mean, speaking of um, Bestie, if you're there, uh, Shanoya, Shanoya Douglas, my goodness. She is she yeah she break out ask it are they are they um, without a doubt yeah yeah without a doubt um uh, I had heard about her I'd seen her I think she had won with, like a couple of weeks before I'd seen her run some, the two hundred meters and she was really she looked incredible she actually but, she was she was actually eighth in the final in the two hundred final last year last year yes but what we saw. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I've been, I'm already comparing her to Sharika. I'm saying, people, listen. That's difficult. <laughs> I, I, the way she ran that for the 400, um, she ran out of steam. I, I think she miscalculated. She ran too fast out of the blocks. The first 100 was too fast. And yeah. when the lactic acid hit her, like in the last 10 meters, it was just Will that got her through the line. She but could she have still, easily run 55 and still, and still gone through and won her races. She was running 53 3 52 9 yep and, yep. and with a, a first round 200 to put in she mm -hmm. must have been in the form of her life without, without a doubt level. her without fitness doubt. level must have been way over the top well for me she she to me she was the find of champs to me i mean pretty we had much, some great much, talent much, yes yes what i saw there was People, when I said terrifying, I talk about you know terrifying in a good way. It was, uh, and, and then of course there was a battle of strength, strength and speed endurance versus speed. Um, so strength one, and so strength, strength one. one. In this instance, strength strength one. Uh, strength and, one and, and I knew she was going to win. Honestly, I'm a huge Tiana Lee Terlong fan, and I'm a fan of both of these young ladies. But why I knew she was going to win is when Terlong came off that curve they both ran great curves and Terry Long was about a meter ahead of her when you look at Douglas's face she wasn't phased she just stuck to her form and she trusted herself and her coach and I realized and and I could see maybe 10 meters out I started to see panic on Tiana Lee. you know not just overstriding it's just being young but Chanoya and I'm thinking people when they tell me if I'm wrong I think this young lady is a 100 meter beast. I see a lot of top end speed. She got out of those 200 meter blocks really fast. I I think they just made a decision. They said 400, 200, and I think next year you're going to see her running the 100 meter. Just remember me telling her this, and I think what I'm looking at, I'm seeing a Sharika Jackson. That's a huge statement for me to say. 50, 50, 52 9 though in class two to go back to the 100 meters. I, I don't know, but um, what's her name? They did the same thing, Sabrina. Yes, yeah. she ran the, the two four last year. She 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 come, she's you know, the, the sprints now this year. She's also a huge factor. She's what's she's, happening with her at the starts, sir? What's up with the starts? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe she's she's getting faster now, and she's she's been impatient. I don't know what happened, but yes. the her her start was not so good. She was very fortunate in hundred meters. She was very very fortunate, and then she picked in the in the, 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 the in the final. So yeah, mm -hmm. let yeah. us see what happens this weekend. At the meet and see what she, she will do if she will stay in the blocks or what yeah i mean i think it's just youth and anxiety um and i and i think if we have to understand that that race that she was in with with um shanoya and and theana the, i can understand she had, i can understand she had to she 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 knew that she had to get a start if she didn't get a start she was gonna get left way behind yeah yeah so, so she had to get to try and get a start but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if she would have been a factor, sir. Not in that two hundred meters. No, not. I didn't think so either. But she, she, had, bronze, to, I think. she had to have had a start to keep up and, and and get a medal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But people, I, I mean, you can tell me if you, if you all saw champs and go back and check out our video. Oh, by the way, I have not done this out. Um, you are watching. 
Yeah, good to go. Uh, sports live stream right here on Peter Lloyd World with our sports journalist, the remarkable Paul Reed of the Jamaica Observer, and myself, Peter Lloyd, and the Royals, the Kings and Queens here. Plus, we have to big up the team, Queen Aisha and the great Bestie. Yes, people, I'm a best friend, so we call her Bestie. Um, but yeah, so thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. You are all incredible. You know, lots of love, lots of respect. Um, but sir, Douglas's performance. Like, when I saw in the, in the semis, when I saw Theodore Terrell in the semis, I said, "Wow!" But Douglas, I was like, "Wait a minute!" Um, it it was. I think we're I think we're going to see one of the great rivals, rivalries. If hopefully, both, hopefully. I mean, that will have the sport. That will have the sport. It will definitely have the yeah, sport. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, one more person I want to talk about. Let me see if I can find this uh, because you know, um, I, I am I was very enamored by this young lady. I, you know what? I'm not even going to show the race. I think all of you have seen the race. Um, to me, the athlete of champs, the Issa Boys and Girls Champs 2024. I just did a video on it. Is a young lady by the name of Aaliyah Baker. Aaliyah Baker of Heidel High School, the track and field captain. People, four gold medal, four gold medals in four by one, four by four, um, the, the two hundred meters, and the, of course the class one, one hundred meter girls. Incredible. And Peter, and she ran the four hundreds last year. And she, and I remember, I remember that. She and ran four hundreds last year. Yeah. So a, a, a real question, sir. Athletes like that. I mean. Now, clearly, when I watch her in 100 meters, I realize her start is horrific. Horrific start. 200 meter, terrible start. But a, a much better start, however. It's strength of the 400, though. The strength of the 400 hurdles. But you see, it's, 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 a, it's typical of the Heidel athletes to, to be able to, to run abroad from 100, 200, 400, or 800 out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so it's typical of the Heidel athlete. So I wouldn't be surprised at all. You know, we saw Hazel as well. Hazel was a good long jumper last year. Mm -hmm. Hazel is in the 200 sprints this year. So I'm not surprised that a Heidel high athlete would have been able to to move from one event to the next event because I think the Heidel high coach. And, and this is no disrespect to anybody else. He probably is the smartest high school track athlete person out here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just just smarts alone. I mean, he's brilliant. He's some well, I mean, at times. I love to look at the coaches. Look at the coaches. Exactly. And look at Good. look at his results. Look at his results. Mm -hmm. If you I mean, Peter, so, like the producer, a, a Brianna Liston, a Alana Reed, a Kevona Davis, a Ashanti Moore. I mean, I can just keep going on the list. Ashanti, no, was he the coach with Ashanti yeah, Moore? Yeah, and Ashanti Moore, Ashanti Moore, right. who did the heptathlon in 2018, a champ. Yes, yes. And then, yes. and then she came back on the spring. But, but Peter, look at the last day of champs. I think a lot of people underrated it. It is, to my mind, one of the greatest coaching of. Yep one day coaching he started champs 43 points behind yep yep if if the 70 if the Heidel girl had not fallen down in the 70 meter hurdles mm -hmm. Heidel win champs yeah but that but if, that's what i'm saying if she that's was in the I top think. three if she was in top three in the 70 meter hurdle Heidel Heidel wins champs coming Sir. from 43 points behind as I, so so you have to give some amount of and it's it's championships so yeah. every team will will drop points here and there and do whatever but i just thought that this was a just an absolute master class of coaching on the last day and i spoke to, to, to my length afterwards he said he didn't crunch numbers his son did that he didn't believe in crunching numbers all he did how all he did oh no tyrone all he did was um all he did was just take one event at a time, one event at a time, and that's how it worked. For him. But remember, no, we, you and I discussed this prior to, and um, the feeling, it, it, well, I didn't believe that. People are saying one they'd, be, they'd win by 100 points, and I'm saying, I don't know, man. 
I don't know. Because, I mean, if you have one girl, and by the way, why, is it, why isn't it that Grace did something special for this young lady who walked away four, four? I should ask. Someone had asked me earlier. Is that a record? Is she the first no, athlete to walk away? No, four no, 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 no. There are other people that have won four gold medals. Brenda Liston won. No, she won a two, three gold medals and a silver because she came second in it, behind Tina Payton. Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> Mr. Thompson, King Thompson, you know, this is a very controversial uh, one. So I'm going to I'm going to throw this over. Let me just read it first. Uh, um, Tyrone Thompson, so I know very, very well for, from a very, very long time. And, um, you know, I, I can well, answer this. First, hold on, sir. Let me read it because some people listen. Okay, uh, yeah. The, the great King Tyrone Thompson writes, what about the issue of foreign athletes being recruited at high school level? And, and um, Casey has done a couple of this. We no, no, been. everybody does it. I mean, yeah. Casey, JC, I tell you something, Peter. I got, I got, I saw a document from the, the Ministry of Education and PISA, and it shows that Hillel Academy mm -hmm. and one other school uptown, sleeping right now, they actually have 44 athletes each registered with PISA. The difference is that not a single one of these 44 athletes were recruited. They came with it because their parents were expatriates mm -hmm. or diplomats, mm -hmm. and they played like tennis, they swim. None of them with that champs. Hillel didn't get a single athlete that champs. Mm -hmm. Um, the other school steps me. Anyway, it'll come. But um, my issue is that and I almost got my head chewed off by your your um people at KC, I yes, asked sir. a question. <laughs> what is the value of bringing Africans here to come fifth place? If we send our third, if we send our third rank sprinters anywhere in the world to Africa or to the to the to, to, to Turks and Caicos or Buda, they are going to break all the records, they, they, they're gonna break the national records there. Mm. Why do you bring Africans? from all the way it, and it must cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to bring them here keep them here because i can't see, see, see them going home and come back that does too much to play fifth um you know i if they're not breaking our records like seriously and what, as keith wellington the principal of this the president has said these athletes are not being recruited as student athletes they're right. coming here as athletes so it's right. almost a professional thing for them are you taking away a spot from a jamaican because we can find people to, to, to come to go to check out our fifth as well yeah we can find people to, to, that is a valid point i i, I have to consider that. if they're yeah. not if they're not and, and here the thing now when we bring it and they're middle distance athletes our middle distance is crap if we speak the truth, our middle distance is not even as good as the Barbados middle distance, middle distance program. So That's true. we're so we're keeping down athletes. We're denying athletes attention because when you have these athletes there, the coaches at these schools don't have time to develop that that boy from wherever, from Papine or from from Mushet. Take for example Magati. Magdi does, as far as I know, don't even have a full 400 meter dirt track. Yet they can have two boys who can come to champs last year and win gold medals and beat and beat the same Africans. Mm -hmm. Um, we've seen other athletes beat, and so I don't, I don't have a problem with bringing the athletes here, but you can't take away um a place. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a profit here but i think the, the, the ministry of education will have to say on this soon all right so um um yes i i agree it you know yep, it, it, yeah it, 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 he, uh, he, uh, see, absolutely right says uh it's even worse they take up scarce government funded academic spot in high school um you know people i'm gonna be honest with you right you see become little casey <laughs> I, I I I tend to get um, swayed. I try not to be. Yeah, I try yeah, to be yeah, yeah. 
but um the but the truth is that is a question I, last year for instance i uh we had placed a lot of faith in a particular young man you know i'm talking about paul <laughs> and he didn't deliver and i was a little you know i was a little uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i was a little miffed i must concede i was a little i was a little uh, but, but but you see but peter and and, and this is about but, but, but another thing is even so um and maybe i was told that because my school is worthless and we can do not i was told by a friend of yours from your school that my school is not going to win chance and we work so 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 we just bad mind it's not bad mind it, it's 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 um as a as the post I say, no, we take we we can't even provide hot meals for our athlete for our students in schools, and we're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars for athletes who are not really that good either. Well, well, one of the things that I have been told in conversation is yeah. that because there's a lack of middle distance and long distance runners right so we have the one lappers we have i guess we have a, some okay 800 meter runners but beyond that 15 3 5 we have huge problems i think that, i think the idea was if you bring in athletes of this caliber they would inspire other athletes if you get what i'm trying to say to you peter also what we've always had our friends from cayman st lucia right coming here what you know ever so often you know alfred was here recently mother still was here we, we, we've had that but what we're seeing now is an influx and we can say all we can what it is is that since isa since isa <laughs> it's since isa has thrown yeah. a spanner in the transfer rule here where you're only allowed to use two athletes right. per class or a transfer this is another way to beat the, to, to, to beat the system right. and but what we're also doing now that we are now developing athletes who are going to beat us at regional meets you know the, the throws from from st lucia from grenada we're developing athletes who are going to beat us this weekend at um you know you, 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 you're crossing and then, and then Peter, at the senior level because we're giving them i was just about to say that sir exactly Br britain's fastest man who trained him zanel hughes Bar barbados fastest 200 and 400 or national or the national record holder national She's, record holder yeah but she didn't go to school here but you say no she didn't she, she didn't, but, she but, didn't. But, but so she is a professional athlete who has sought the best coach i have no problem at all it's a business right. but right. we're talking about for example you send your son to a school Connor for example and he made a team at class three and class four and and everything the minute he gets a class two um oh well he can't make the team anymore because we've imported three or four people from uganda and from Mogadishu mm. to take his place so he has to find another school to go to or try to make a medley team right that kind of a fear but, and it's all about and it's not developing it's about winning champs so i hear this peter i hear the same arguments that you hear about one person actually told me on social media that, that we're doing them a favor that they're doing yes, them a favor. athletes they're doing the, they're doing them a favor by giving them a scholarship to come to a good school and train good this is what i think we hear we, we're doing our neighbors and our african friends a favor I, that's one of the things I heard. Well, I, um, I don't know. I mean, I you know what? Like I said, this one. I mean, I've had just, a few I just, I just people, but at least I am able to. I'm able to have a clear mind on this one because I don't have a dog in a fight. I'm looking at at how we distribute our scarce resources. Right, right. Uh, very, very scarce. Say to, very scarce. Very to scarce. our to our athletes. To our athletes because. For example, Asafa was not a, a, a champ star, no. but somebody somewhere saw him and he was a late developer. I, I, but I she, but let us be honest, Shelly was not really a champ star. There you go as well. Elaine wasn't really a champ star. No, no. Carter, no. Not, not a, not a Carter as well. 
Yep, yes, yes, that's also very true. Yeah, a few of them oh, were yeah. not sham stars. However, um, you know, somebody stayed with them and things. So I don't have a problem with athletes coming here for an education or whatever, but this whole scale, one school, Peter, brought in six boys for the Manning Cup team from one country, the half of the national other 20 team from one country came to Jamaica. All right, let, let, let me move on to this quick. Let me move on to this. All in the game brought up, uh, and by the way, all in the game, you had brought up something about me being fascinated with an, uh, with an athlete. Can you put it back up? Because I, I was trying to find it. You, uh, all the game says, by that logic, Americans would say, why are we allowing... I don't agree that either. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, but... but here, Peter, all in the game. Sir, could I, try, could I try? Yeah. My challenge all in the game is America has unlimited funds. Unlimited. Literally. Unlimited. Hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, and the amount of money they spend is a joke. Yeah, yeah. We don't have one, two, five percent of it's that. the resources. It is so it is the resources. And, so, I mean, and I'm not saying that we shouldn't create those opportunities, but I'm simply saying additionally we should be a little bit more additionally. Certain. Additionally, yeah. the athletes who go to America, they mm -hmm. actually also earn degrees. Yeah. Yeah, okay, all in the game. 10.96, 10.98. Don't understand Peter's fascination. Are you talking about Brianna? Just let me know, bro. Let me, let me know. I'm not sure. Because I I was following it and then we sort of got caught up in something else. And we, we sort of. What, were, were you talking about Brianna? Because at, at Brianna's PB is what? 10.95. That's all. 10.9. I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway um all right so let's let's jump onto that fire <laughs> let's jump onto that fire real quick um because we, we we we're trying to keep keep um this going so you had some athletes you wanted to talk about regarding the the work the records the three records at the Easter boys and girls champ yes um no no i just made a list and it just happened that the, the records were a part of of the list of what i thought were the highlights and the highlights for me at champs anyway and by the way peter yes sir champs the performance at champs was good i'm not sure that champs was good at all yeah it's the first time we've seen such the 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 the, the running at champs was not so smooth there's a lot of things and and i've seen talk or her talk that you know the planning must start the planning for next year champs has to start now, for example the media did not get wi-fi access until the third year champs okay. that that just does not make sense um you have a situation where in the boys class one long jump one of the jumpers was jumping on a protest i remember that that is rubbish that's foolish that is not that is not a part of the world as the code you cannot jump on a protest you cannot run on a protest so i, I mean i was just baffled when i hear that the, the it was the jc guy that was jumping on a protest that so, is not, that is not um i don't know if it's a, that is that is not that's I, that's in no rule book anywhere that i know of no no no, no okay. record but, but if we're going to bring up that so we have to bring yes. up this um a young lady um one of my favorite young female athletes clearly in my mind clearly fall started in the heat of the 100 meters class two um i watched it several times i slowed it yeah. down yeah. and they couldn't yeah. do that and i said okay she fall started all right then she ran on the protest, which I know is an option. That that's no, it's not an option. It's not an option. Or is, or is, it, is it an option as a no. as a senior, as a no. pro? No, we're at all. No, okay, we're at all. So, okay, all so, right. so 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 you have added another thing. So let In me finish. Twenty nineteen, when we had an unfortunate yes. situation with the hundred meter hurdles at trials, I didn't have my book with me and i came home i found the book and it's right here somewhere i found the book and i read the whole thing of false starts from start to finish several times it's the competition rules right the WF competition rules it hasn't changed it's worth 
analytics now and everything, it hasn't changed. So explain what it says, sir, what it says is in a nutshell. If yeah. you're using the FAT system, which is the the FAT system is the is the automatic it's automated timing system. Right. At the start right. of every every morning or evening thing, you're mm -hmm. going to hear them the gun firing. They're right. zero in the gun. That right. means the gun is the gun and the and the pads on the things are are, are in sync. They're in sync, yes, yes. Calibrated. So, mm -hmm. so the minute the, there's a enough force on the pad, the, the clock goes off. So what what world athletics says. If an athlete, if the system says the athlete false start and can right. show that the athlete left the blocks before the time allowed, that that right. athlete false starts. So and it's it, I, I think it's also hands hands off the hands and feet. Is it hands and feet? No, yeah, 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 both hands off the thing and 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 it's when you pressure the, the right. Yes, yeah. that's it. That's so, it. Yes. So what the word after the quote says is that if the athlete in question is called for a fast start and the FAT system, I'm trying to remember the name, F is automatic timing, um, FA automatic timing system. Once that is used, if there's any doubt at all in any one race, then the entire session is thrown out. Every single race that was used in that session is out. That's what the word after the system says. Right. However, as we saw in 2014 in Eugene World Under 20 with the Ecuadorian Sprinter, yes. as we saw with Makwala mm -hmm. in, in Doha, yes. as we saw with the American 4x1 team, yes. if they win the appeal, they run by themselves at another time. So, so there's no running on a protest. So, sir, so let's come back to this yeah. point. Yeah. How did this happen? Because when I, sir, when one I second, saw, it, the only I was thing I say, no, no, one second. I mean, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, man, that's what, all right. What upset me personally, and like I said, I'm a big fan of this young lady. Yeah. But there were two other girls who first started, and they were not given the same option, right? And, 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 and I said to, to her myself, again, to her again, right. in the final, yeah. So I'm saying, so, so if you're telling me that this is not a rule, you cannot run on a protest. Yes. How then did this occur? I don't know if they went, and here the thing now, we we were not told either. We were not told. We, we didn't get that thing to say that this athlete in this race appealed and won the appeal. We, we were not told that at all. So it's possible that they might have gone back, looked at the system. She did not fall start. She had not fall started. Yes, and they put her in a, another race so as not to keep okay. up time. So that is, that is a possibility. All right, but then she first started again. Exactly. Right. 2011. In 2011, if you remember, VCB first started. Well, well, with she looked like she had first started. She look, I was going to correct you, sir. It looked, I didn't think she first started. She looked as if she had. The next day, okay. yeah. Mr. Watt, he is in charge of the starters. He came to the observer. He was invited to come to the observer. He brought a, a, a sheaf of paper this thick to yeah. show us why. VCB did not fall start. The next Wednesday, she fall started at a meet in France. So, right. so, 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 so we don't know. But so, so yeah. anyway. So back to champs, though. So there are some things that they need to to work on, on champs. So back to my list now. Uh, my yes. list of of um. Can I interrupt you one one more before you yeah. get to your because I want to get to your list too. Yeah. Hundred meters on the Wednesdays. Yes. Yes. Everywhere in the world. Every meet in the world, the hundred meters are completed in the first two, three days. That's what I was thinking too. That, yeah. that they seem to be following that pattern. Years ago, yeah, Hubert, John Jones, and a couple of people were asked to put together a a, a schedule, mm -hmm. and that's what it looked like. But packing the stadium Saturday and Friday brings in money, or so mm -hmm. they said. But it was not a good schedule, not for the athletes. This one, with the exception of a few things, we saw where the boys high jump class to high jump, long jump and high jump was happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, the same time the boys. I, know that that I that jump that. on long jump. What's happening? The same time, and you had two boys going back and forth in, in between. That needs to be tweaked. The good thing is that Issa is really good when, when it comes to these things. That you, 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 you see it and they fix it. So there's some tweaks to, mm -hmm. to, to be done. Um, the class two boys high jump final and the triple jump is done the same day as well they might need to do but but the hundred on a wednesday brilliant and Sir, what, okay, so. what it also does it mm -hmm. brings in more people on a wednesday because yeah, normally right. there's nobody there on a wednesday so it works it works so okay so i'm going to interrupt you for five seconds i just want to respond to something one more time thank you all you are watching the yet good to go live stream number four or fourth in the series we do these live streams every other week on a thursday at 8 p.m jamaica time i'm gonna say jamaica time and i mean jamaica time half hour late i mean the actual jamaican time and um we have the pleasure each week of having this brilliant young man here with us who say i'm not young no more um <laughs> Paul Reed, the the journalist sports journalist of the jamaica observer so um thank you all for being here by the way people i see a good amount of you here please hit that like button it's really important to the algorithm the algorithm is the bane the nightmare of every youtuber please hit that like button please 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 it's really important hit the like button um also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel if you're enjoying the stream consider subscribing to the channel we have a lot of fun here we do great videos and there's a whole lot of great stuff coming up we're putting together our spotify uh sorry our shopify um uh, um, um, um shop some great things we're going to be doing some membership specials so consider joining the membership but we'll get to that in another week or so okay so um sasha lee forbes here's my fascination i understand that her times are not the greatest times i think her pb is uh 10.96 if my memory serves me correctly but what i'm seeing is that she seems to have broke through the glass ceiling last year when she ran her first sub 11. she has been running consistently um and you know what when you start when you correct me if i'm wrong paul but running sub 11 as a female athlete everything changes the world opens up so the training changes certain things change um so we have to give her a little time and she's still a relatively young lady i really think she's going to do something special this year i think she's going to be the person that everyone will have to to get rid of to, to become a uh to, to get on that the, the, the as a solo run in 100 meters this is my opinion i think wow. she's going to be very special wow. very special <laughs> but, but i understand um because i think what had happened is that she had showed form years ago she did not live up to the hype and now later in her career she's living up to the hype and people are saying well you know she she she, she did flop them time that she might flop again i think she has been relatively consistent so i'm not saying i'm going to be correct 100 percent, but i just she's 28 and that's still a pretty young lady so i still think that she's going to be the person that they'll have to be, to beat now understand brianna listed are come tina clayton are come tia clayton are come brianna williams are come uh, um Ke kemba nelson do not forget kemba nelson let me underline that name so i think this is going to be rather interesting but that's my fascination with sasha lee forbes to be very frank with you sir um please continue with your special moments of the Easter boys and girls champs training. all right my special moments um for me the best performance single-handedly at champs with the class three had a jumper jumping 1.83 in a high jump she's 14 years old huge 14 years old and she jumped and she retired and she re retired after whatever age she walked away so she, she didn't attempt i spoke to a coach this morning at rutgers big school big 10 school and they're recruiting a girl that jumps 1.80 and they at rutgers feel really really good about getting this girl at 1.80 and i said to the coach did you see the 14 year old that jumped 1.83 he started laughing because he could not believe 14 years old and she cleared the la she broke the record twice and she Sir, can i can i can i interject can i yes. interject 
Okay, people, the NCAA yeah. high jump record female is two meters, set by a Jamaican by the name of, the name of Lamara Distin. Distin, yeah. Correct? Yeah. Um, which was equal the other day by the young lady from Glenn, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. So, Glenn. people, Rachel Lamara Glenn, Distin yeah. is what, 22? Four. Tw just, 24. Just, just turned 24. 24, yeah. Okay, all right. So Lamar Distin just cleared two meters. Now two meters you need for you to be. Um no Nolan Miller said, Peter, you like everybody. Yes, no lad, because I'm a pastimist. So like everybody. He's a fan, he's a fan. He's a fan, he's a fan, yeah. I'm a fan of everybody. But 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 to, for context, sir, I'm just I'm just interrupting. For you to hit, if you can clear two meters, you can probably go. To, to um the Olympic Games yeah, and hit top five, top six. Correct, sir? Am I correct? So for a 14-year-old girl, when I saw it, first of all, when I saw it, I said it wasn't highlighted enough, sir. Because I'm saying, yeah, do you understand that a 14-year-old yeah. girl just jumped 1.83 meters? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. go ahead, sir. Let, so let um, yeah, so and then there is the the class two. Shocking. Triple jumper from you see fifteen fifty four. Yes, yes, I remember that. Yes, fifteen fifty four class two triple Scary. jumper. Absolutely amazing because it Scary. that's a hard, 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 hard event. Yeah. Then the then there is the class two shot put. Shot, yes, first awesome. young lady in champs history to go over sixteen meters, and she showed sixteen forty yard. She did that on her first throw, right? Was no, no, throw? it was in the meet. But she she went in to the meet with a 16.3 PB, and right. the record was 15.99, and she threw 16.40. I Amazing. mean, she just smashed the record completely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, there is, uh, yes, the boys class one 400 meter hurdles, it took. 51 99 to make the finals yeah yeah that's crazy. eight eight boys were running under 52 seconds for the 400 meter hurdlers at champs unheard of but another one is the 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 triple jump open for girls three women jumped over 30 meters first time ever in the history of champs yep. that's massive that is yeah. As I will, and then to think of it, to, to go even, even further, the four because there's a twelve point nine eight jump as well. Four the four biggest jumps of the competition came in the last round. I mean that that is us on her. So yes, champs was on fire every year. Champs yeah. was on fire again. Just give a little bit of perspective. In two thousand eighteen, we had twenty individual records at champs. 20 individual workers at champs, plus about six or seven across the heptathlon and decathlon. Yes, sir. but we only had three, three this this champs. We had three workers this champs. It was the triple. It was the what the, the, the high jump, the class two triple jump, and the, yeah. However, I heard you bring it up earlier that the 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 spread of the, the spread of performances is incredible. Not, it's incredible that you know no no are, concentration on town schools are i mean yes. i mean it's, it's I mean, everywhere uh excelsior um i mean of course you know you alfonso have the davis, alfonso davis high with the middle distances incredible incredible Marathi, Marathi high Marathi. you know incredible yeah, yeah it, incredible it, the, the, know, the, the talent is everywhere and i think that's a reflection Monroe with, with in the coach, coach, coaching yeah Coaching, it's coaching, it's, it, it, yeah. you know, it's coaching. Yeah. But champs was good this year on the track. Um, just hopefully next year the organizers will tighten them better a little bit and make them better champs and a better champs experience. Somebody also pointed out that the bleachers wasn't very full by half past three at all. You know, they had wide open spaces in the bleachers at half past three still. In the night, it got a little bit do better in the night, but I guess TV is um is to, to be blamed because people can stay home and watch everything and watch everything um and I'm, yeah 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 and they, they need to make the bleachers a little bit more comfortable sir well, they, need to, 
<laughs> well, I, I, I remember when I was head boy and we were, we we're still on our beaches. Trust me, sir. Trust you, me. Paul, you know what I'm saying. You yeah, know. I know what you're saying. But the minister has said again, and uh, we've heard her since 2019, that they have plans to expand the well, stadium, yeah. they have plans to cover it, they plan no. Right. But we've heard this from like 2018. So, you know. Well, well I hope it happens. I will hold my breath. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I mean, sir, for me, champs, I mean, I what what I am really excited about. I just let me tell you something. You see, you see the people that are coming, so them trouble me all the while. Them say I am I'm a fan of everybody. I love every athlete. But okay, it's true. Yes. I'm a lover, not a fan. Same fighter, here. Right? No, I, I put up man as well. Same here. I I, I mean, it's a sport that you love and you you, you want to see people coming through and doing their best. Yeah, know? yeah. And for me, once we do, once our athletes are doing well, if Jamaica is doing well. I mean, that's just yes. how I see it. Um, you know, on a personal level. But yeah. I thought what was very exciting for me with champs last year and even more so this year is that diversity. Um, and we're beginning to do so well in the field competitions as well. What we're lacking now is the middle distance and the long distance. Look, I tell you something. There were there were individual distance distance. Um, the young lady from Heidel in the three thousand, that was a masterful run. She defended yeah. her title. Um, yeah. Yeah. Susan yeah. Johnson. No, no, that's that's Eden Allen. But the same, you know, the, the Heidel girl, she ran very, very close to the record as well, you know, but she won by far. So it was just her alone. And yeah. so that was that that was good. But, but what it is, I think what it is is because the, the, the sprints are so stacked, the athletes are now being forced to go elsewhere. So we have great hurdlers, we have um I yeah. mean, a one lappers are incredible. We 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 know this. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, sir, if I may interrupt, I have heard people talk about worrying about Antonio Watson. People, Antonio Watson peaked at the right time last year. We do not want Antonio Watson running crazy times now because that's a very bad idea. I just want to say that. Now, um, I see all in the game. I, I am not aware of this. Um, all in, all in, hold on, there, all, I'm trying to find this. Uh, yeah. All in the game is referencing uh, U.S. Have you heard about this, sir? A U.S. Um, high school team. Yes, I heard about it. Yeah. 38.92? Yeah. A high school team? Yeah, I heard about it. I heard about it. Um, I don't, I don't recall the name. A high school, yeah, yeah, outdoor. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah, I heard about them. I think it was today or yes, today. Yeah. What age group, sir? Do you know? Like high school like... in America is up to twelfth grade, nine to twelfth grade. So it, it, it's in, it's over, it's under, it's under. Like for like 18. like 17, 17, 16, yeah. 17. Yeah, yeah. Up to up to about 18 or so, yeah. Holy crap. Sir, 38.92. That's serious running. That is not a joke. Well, that, is, yeah, that got my attention. I'll tell you that much people that definitely got my attention. Let's see what them do when as, as the season go on. I think it was it's it sounded to, to me like it was some some school on the west coast or some at the south. I'll, I'll, I'll do my research on it and find yeah. out. All in the game says second place team ran 39.65 or something like that. Wow. What? That's crazy. That's those are that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but, yo, uh, it's, anyway. <laughs> People, 38.92 is serious. Um, but I, I think we can produce it. Do, I don't think we have a high school team that can, can run that kind of. Um, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, no, no. it's going to be fire. 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 Um, okay, sir. Any any other thing that um, you, are, you, are, you want to talk about with Champs? No, no. I mean, as I said, well, Champs was... Champs again, on as far as the the performances on the track and the field was it it lived up to expectations. The coaches that came here to recruit, I actually for the first time met um, 
Davis, the Bahamian, um, 400 meter. Yeah, yeah. Golden girl, I actually yeah, yeah. had a talk with her on Saturday night. We, we talked a little bit. Like I saw her at, at the NCA indoors and I, I spoke to her again. So, and they were just amazed. And I mean, they, it was her first time at Champs. I spoke to a bunch of people that, that were there and they're just, um, because they are, they are seen like two, three years down the road that athletes that they're seen from now. So the 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 pool of the pool is still as good and as talented as as ever. So on that basis, champs live up to expectation. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, I I had um I had so much fun I could barely put out videos. <laughs> I was just so caught up watching. Um, I had a lot of, in fact, I'm, I'm doing a lot of um, post analysis stuff right now. Uh, I, I really, I really enjoyed it. I, I didn't understand the move. I, was it because the stadium was hot that they moved the 200 meters? No. One, was it the heat? What happened? No, they fixed the track Thursday night. Oh, I remember. That's they how they had those young men on the blocks. They fixed the track and they had some problems with the track. And, but, and again, the question asked, why was the track being fixed in the middle of champs? Couldn't they fix the track on Monday or, or Sunday? Why was it why was the track scheduled to be fixed in the middle of champs? So they had to push the 400 meters. So we were at champs on Friday night until 11 o'clock. I mean, I remember, yeah, this yeah. is a high school event, and you're gonna have children on the road almost midnight coming from a high school event that makes no sense yeah i i did have a problem with that i was trying to understand what had happened but i, no, I, was, I didn't connect the dots it was it was the track that needed they had fixed the track and i don't know why it was able to run from there but the mm -hmm. track was fixed thursday night so hence the problem with you know mm -hmm. that to reach nothing but it ran till the limb it, you know it was i thought that made no sense at all you know some people are very angry why not you know make them run early the next day and whatever i don't know i don't you know I'm not um, sure. Sure. again uh, regarding champs i noticed that the class two girls and boys were running fast almost faster time certainly the class two girls than the class one girls that's huge that's yeah. calm. that's right. fair. in a girl on the girls' side, it's normal for the class two girls to run faster than the class one girls. And if you also notice that most of the class one events went straight to finals or third finals, yes, they didn't have enough athletes run. Normally, girls when girls reach to that age, they they don't want to run anymore. No, exactly. they, yeah, they lose interest in sports. So when we get a really quality class one girls like Alia Baker this year. The um, fox from Eden Island and, and and these things, it um it really really you know special because the class two girls are always outperforming them. Yeah, I I noticed. Um, King Never Walker says champs and track and field needs better promotions. Live TV is not the reason why the stadium is empty. That's interesting, Neville. Um, it might have, it might have a point. I mean, point. people I, people I mean, people even at the world championship stage people complain that that they don't do a good enough uh, job of marketing the means because as he said no we think it's chance people will come we, 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 yeah. we, we don't have advertise people will not show because it's chance you know i mean yeah i mean and, and i think we have to understand sir that globally and cost as well and the cost the, as well okay yeah the cost yeah. might have got champs tickets have gone up exponentially over the last few years and you know mm -hmm. that i mean if the people who go, go to the bleachers might not be able to they can't afford, afford it, it. Mm -hmm. they the can't afford it. you know and the students as well is most students that go over that side as well you well know? sir i mean the truth is in terms of i mean first of all it's a five-day event it used to be six days if my memory no sir. No, no it was never six days it was, it was never six three days. okay so it was three, three four then five yeah no, back in the day, sir, you had boys' champs and you had girls' champs. True. Okay, fine. Right? Yes, yes. So, if you put it that way. So I was six right, days. Yes. That's, what I'm, that's what I mean. So yeah. if so you have five, a five-day event that starts at like 9 in the morning, 9, 9.30 on a Tuesday. And it's full every day. It's a full it's, Right. 
the, but, but um I, I, the truth is and i've said this repeatedly on the channel that we need to understand that champs is all track and field is almost niche it is almost it is it is not it is, it is. It's, it's, it's not in the top 10 i think it's 15th or something like that in terms of popularity yeah so so we th 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 that's why our athletes a top tier athlete is making 20 million dollars and and shouting about it when when a lawn tennis player is making 100 million <laughs> Football and, Peter, and, and in the NCAA during the yeah. lockdown, they cut some. And some schools were forced to cut programs, and the first that. ones they cut was track and field. Track and field. Yeah, they're not going to track. track. They're not going to cut ba uh, basketball. No, no, that's the money. That's the money. But you know, they have swimming, they have lacrosse, you have soccer, you have art rowing. But if, what in in many cases, the first sport they cut was track and field. You know, mm, 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 mm. well, I mean, I, I, I think um, because uh, some people are saying uh, Errol was saying, let me, let me let me add you here, Errol. Um, Errol, Errol brought up an interesting point. He's saying that um, it, it's the schedule. The schedule is a problem. But the thing, though, Errol, is that if you have a five day event with I think it's. It, it, it's not four thousand. Is it four thousand athletes? How much? It, it's no, 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 no. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand athletes, right? Yeah. They have two thousand athletes over five days. Uh, you, you're running. Um, what? Three, I wish you would say more. Why? What exactly is the problem with the schedule? You know, schedule. Okay. Um, Errol, Errol, could you uh, could someone ask uh, one of your Errol could some of you comment as to why you think the champs schedule is a problem? I'm just curious. Um, move 100 meter to Friday and 200 to Wednesday. No, no, I think I think Errol, what's happening is that uh, what what King Paul was saying is that globally, because you want the, you want the children to get used to the global standard. The global standard is that the hundred meters is going to be on the Wednesday, so it's going to be run. Every, before. every, I mean, uh, the Olympics, yeah, the world the championship, Olympics, world every, championships. That's actually hundred meters yeah. out of the way from the very start, because you yeah, see, but, you also need to give the athletes rest because there's some doubles, one two, the two four, four eight, the eight fifteen. You mm -hmm. must give the athletes enough time to 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 rest. You know, in between, so you know, you, you know. Yeah, I, I think, I think what King Earl is saying though is that he's saying, from a practical perspective. I mean, I guess basically what he's saying is do a, a three day event, but to do all of that in three days, I, I mean, because he's saying, um, I guess on a fr on a Friday when people leave work, you'd have much more people coming to the stadium. But the challenge with that, I think is too many events in too short and 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 and, and, and listen we just said it just the too previous much. schedule when you had a hundred meter final on friday night and the same athletes come back because you have the two 200 meters run on a friday night you come back on a video when a 200 and two more relays on saturday that was wicked mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the two four people as well to come back and mm. it, it it was difficult it was really really difficult and i guess in consultation with the coaches and everything i think this is the best time that they can come up with yes 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 well people um i i, I think it's that time any questions anyone wants to ask etc uh <laughs> why well, nobody listen for boss they bring up they bring up Cricket, you know, I'm not a passion that you know, I bring up the cricket, you know, the stream now. <laughs> um, but but I do think, sir, that it was a it was a very successful stage. And I think looking at the youngsters, Jamaica Jamaica is looking really really good. I I think in terms of the diversity and the fact that there's no one school dominating. I meant to ask you about the young man class two two hundred meters, Mushet. Smith. Well, well, his parents were athletes. His yeah. father is a coach. His parents were athletes. Sir, he ran a brilliant race. And we've watched him. We've watched him. I mean, he's been at Western Champs on Class 4. Mm -hmm. He's come through the ranks. He's, he just seems to always make semifinals and finals at Champs. He's never medaled. Mm -hmm. This year was different. 
this year was different. It seems so. He's he's big. He's tall. He's yeah. I realize that. Oh yeah. And, and I mean, we need two hundred meter runners. We don't have any. Oh yeah. We don't have two hundred. So so I mean, he was expected to run well, and he did. You know, from where all year long though, he's been doing very very well, and we expect more other in his class too. Still, you know, so we expect him to do a lot better he's on a team this weekend as yeah. well so know, let's, on, see yeah. let's see what happens yeah let's see what happens the other thing i wanted to ask is um the mixed relays which i found um can't work at champs that's what i was wondering because yeah, i realized yeah. that because of host champs is structured the teams are not going to work together to no, produce something no like and that. who do who gets the points that's another thing that i was too wondering many, too many too many the Seems logistics like, don't, don't, don't make it plausible or possible. Yeah, it, do, it does make it plausible at all. I mean, how do you, I mean, if you can bring it up mixed relay, you got to, you got to take out Immaculate, St. Hughes, Alpha, KC, JC, Calabar, they won't be able to, 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 um, to take part in that. Who get the yeah. points? It just yeah. won't work. Yeah. It just won't work. Well, you know, um, Never Walker says the schedule is perfect. Promotion and, and giveaways can. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I missed that. Never. People I'm, are getting ten thousand. At um. I can't find it. Yeah, here it is. Sorry, never. Yeah, but uh, perfect promotion and giveaway can improve attendance. Yeah. I mean, I think attendance was okay, no? It was okay. Yeah. Uh, they have some. Choose, choose, choose. It to me, it looks as if the um, grandstand was full. Am I correct? Wednesday was uh, no, not Tuesday. Was full on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday was all right. Yeah, you know, yeah. Thursday, okay. Friday, Saturday is what we anticipated. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think though that the, the the cost of attending it might be a little bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, Mortimer Edwards referencing um. Comment regarding Hudson being a nine eight zero. He said he can't break any of Bolt's records. He must match Bolt's stride length, while it's possible. I don't think he can do that though because um, Hudson is much shorter. Than he's Bolt's about five ten, five eleven. Yeah, man, it, yeah, like he's he's not that tall, and Bolt is six five, six five. Six, six, five. Yeah. Right. So I mean, there's no way he's going to be able to match that. And you have to remember, you know, that the second fastest two meter runner all time. It's about five ten. That's Johan Blake. So I mean, Blake, Blake is not tall. In fact, I think he's, I think he's like five nine or something. So I don't think he, uh, Martima. I don't think he needs to match. I, I, I just, I don't know. He's okay, but he's not yet at that level because people. I'm gonna say something to you all now before we we get off. No allies may not win the the 200 meter finals at at um, the Olympic Games here. Because there's a little young man from Africa. Him Tibogo. Remember what me tell you, yeah? Just remember I'm telling you this. I hear no allies talking about 1910, and I'm saying, no, you better start worrying about little Tibogo. Tibogo, I think, is going to be a problem. Right? I, I think Tibogo is going to be a problem. A, hold on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, people, we have a we have a troll. So let me just get rid of this person. Uh Sorry about that. Yeah. But you always have one jackass. So you <laughs> always have one. No, I mean I'm serious. Like, come on, man. You're being a, being a, being a, being an adult. Come on. You're wrong place, wrong time. We don't do that yes. Um so the, the the truth is, if we are to be frank, right? I really think, I mean, I know Paul, you may not agree with me, but I think Tibogo is is gonna be a problem. No, 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 I agree. No, 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 I, no, no, no. He he's a talent. He is a yeah. talent. He is yeah. a yeah. real talent. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyway, people, thank you so much. We don't normally do the, the streams this long. <laughs> But we wanted to cover champs. Um, I want to big up Aisha and um, Bestie for being here. Um, the great Paul Reed of the Jamaica Observer. Thank you so much. 
Yes, once more, it's called, um, yep, yeah, good to go uh, at Peter Lloyd World, our sports live stream. Uh, we are here to find myself, your host, Peter Lloyd, and the great Paul Reed, once we are able to have him on. We do this every other Thursday at 8 p.m. Jamaica time, and that's Jamaica time. We start promptly at 8 p.m. Jamaica time. Um, once in a while, we will bring in someone to inter I don't like to say interview because that sounds too formal that we will speak to. We had we had Akira Newton on and we are talking to other people. We're trying to decide who we're gonna bring on. Um you know, just to make it fun, etc. Um, yep, I, I I think the future looks bright for Jamaica in terms of track and field. Um, I think we're looking good. We're looking good. And and I I can say this, people. I really think that if we're going to be very honest. The Paris Olympic Games, we have my national championships at Jamaica <laughs> in the women's 400 meters because um, Paul has said this and I agree with him. We're going to have some great athletes sitting on the side and they will not be able to go to Paris because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy 100 meters. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm seeing some... I'm seeing some greatness coming out of Oblique. I'm seeing um, young Johan, um, Akeem Blake and others. I think we're going to have something very special. This We, we, we always do. Um, and let's see. So anything, any questions you all wanted to ask or we, we can um, wrap up? I want to thank all of you. Uh, please, there are what, 53 of you left here. Please hit that like button. It's really important to beat, to beat the algorithm. The algorithm is like a nightmare. Um, you know, uh, and thank you so much for your time. You know, you people are incredible. We have a lot of fun when we do these live streams and, and luckily for me, we have someone who can, you know, um, keep me in line because I, you know, I'm a fan, fan of everybody, <laughs> every, uh, every, every athlete I'm a fan of, and uh, you know, can't go out there, but, um, we have the brilliance of, uh, a Paul Reed and we really want to thank him for. For choosing to spend some time with us here on the on the, the the podcast, and if you are interested, uh, Paul does brilliant articles for the Jamaica Observer. You really should check out his stuff. When I'm talking about brilliant, I mean, like I said, he's my go-to person. The other go-to person, we love very much our brother. He transitioned, um, but Paul is incredible. So big up to you, Paul, Thank you, sir. For being here, sir, and thanks to everyone for. Spending some time with us in, in a, another two weeks, we shall be here. You are all remarkable, Neville, um, Saint GC, Fit Life, Top General. Uh, I hope some sponsors and business persons and government would go and build up that institution, uh, sponsor education. Um, all in the game, the you know, all thank you all for your for your brilliance, for your knowledge, etc. Um, and you know. To, to the young, the person who leave that comment, boss, when I do that, yes, sir. And um, I don't get really emotional about these things. I'm neither here nor there. And I kind of understand where you're coming from, but we don't do that here. It's about track and field and having fun, right? And we have to stay clean, all right? But trust me, you will not be able to leave that comment ever again because I know I know how to ensure you can't ever leave that comment again. But um, thank you so much. You are remarkable. Remember, when I said to your royals, kings and queens, I'm not just saying that. I know I am a king. I know Paul is a king. You are all royals. You are kings and queens. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. That was fun. That was fun.